and my old neighbor Ann and her daughter Sarah and I don't know there's a couple other Annie kids and Chloe. <laughs> you're not gonna believe it I totally scored big time see all that they said I can have all of that wood all of that wood and check this out see the back of that truck over it was am I pointing at my truck <laughs> my truck's over there here let me turn this around <laughs> I'm a, I'm a lame-o when it comes to this filming shit. That's the pallets we've got. Some of them are complete, some of them are incomplete. Doesn't matter because I can use the, the boards. Look at this. Look at this. Look at those beautiful boards. And there's... That is beautiful boards. Look at this. I know I'm moving too fast and stuff. Oh, spam risk. Um, they said I could have this one. This is a big one. I'm just too afraid to put it in the back of my truck and check this out I gotta show you something you're gonna lose your you know what when you see this <laughs> aren't ya uh -huh, yes. <laughs> look at those what are these like those like railroad ties or something. I think so, yeah. bunch of these they said I could have those too oh my gosh and look at there's still more but I I'm afraid I, I'm not bold when it comes to hauling stuff so um, Thank you, you guys! I'm so excited! In addition to all those pallets, they had this out in the woods. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is a tarp. It's in perfect condition. They used it to be part of their haunted trail for their kids. I don't know how many feet this is, but I could do a couple things with this, couple, two, three things with this. I'm going to have to measure over there to see how much tarp I need for the second water catchment that's going to be done just like that. But look, look at the size of this tarp. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I can barely breathe. So all I got to do is just get it cleaned off. And then once I get all the stuff together for the tote, I'm going to make another water catchment thing. Oh my gosh, I just cannot freaking believe this. This is a huge huge tarp and it's uh it's not a cheap one like you get at the dollar store um i think they consider these <sighs> i think they might be medium duty but it doesn't matter because even a light duty tarp is perfect for my needs oh my gosh thank you sarah and ann and sarah's husband and Oh, this is so wonderful. So I got those three pallets right there. There's some really nice boards on them. And I think these two pallets, because they are the most intact, strongest boards, I think that they are going to be the thing I'm going to use to go up underneath this here. Of course, this one will be on the bottom. This one might be just a little bit small. I'm not sure. Um... I'm just going to have to figure it out. Uh, I've got more pellets over there. I may be able to use like that one and the really small one over there to go on top of that and put that on top because I would like to have um, it elevated up off of two. So I need to go clean up. I'm super dirty. Um, but this is where it's going to go. This is where it's going to go. Um, I'm going to have to pull that out and I'm going to... I'm trying to figure, I may end up just centering it over here and then putting as much tarpage up as I can, bringing it down to a V here. And uh, that'll mean that window will be shaded. Um, I don't know, I'm just gonna have to think this through. It's not gonna happen today, cause I'm pooped, but it's gonna happen. I've just got it up on one pallet right now. I don't know if this is gonna be the final resting place, but, um, I couldn't find a combination of two pallets to get it up to um, that would work. I think what I'm going to end up doing, since the ground slopes this way and that's, that one board is broken and most of the pressure is going to be on this side of the tank, when I get ready to put it all together for reels, I'm going to turn this pallet around because that board right there is pretty strong. I did put you know, a bunch of more boards underneath the cage because there's no cage bottom and I wanted there to be plenty of support for underneath of this uh, thing when it gets full. Um, so I, I've decided that I'm just going to make the V from here to here. Um, if I can find a way to, to do a little gutter or something to, 
drain down into here I will but I didn't want to cover this window so this is where my secondary water catchment is gonna be and yeah I'm definitely gonna spray paint the rest of this thing uh, spray paint over whatever it was that I did before because it's all coming off um, I got to get a screen for the top and put that around there and set it up just like my other one. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Ann and Sarah and husband. Um, I still got plenty, plenty of these left, and they said they may bring me some more this weekend. Um, I may go over there if they feel like it and help them load a bunch of these pallets onto a trailer because I can use, I can use pallets like crazy. Oh, look at this. Look at that. That's a, I don't know, a thing. I am boiling hot, so I turn on the generator. I'm going to go inside, turn on the air conditioner, cool off, get a cold beverage, and chill out. All right. See that over there? Little snake. It's slithered underneath of that log right there. And now there it is. It's just a, a black snake. It's not a venomous snake. It's not a very big one. So it'll just go on its merry way eventually. Here it goes. Oh, well, maybe it is kind of a big one. Yeah, it needs to go away. That's This is the route they always take. They come over from the area past the chicken yard and they go up here. Um, You know what? I need to find out where my chickens are. Yeah, that would be a good idea. Oh my gosh, it was 88 degrees in here and I don't even care how bad I look right now. I'm just cooling off. I got the air conditioner going, I got fans going, I got a fan pointed directly at Papa because uh, he gets overheated pretty quick. Um, but it's down to 84 in here and it, it'll get it down to about 72 if I keep it going long enough. So today is another very, very hot day. Then we got three or four days of very mild weather. Um, it's just going to get up to like maybe 80 or something and that's not bad at all. But I am just so stoked about this water tank and those pallets. And um, this weekend we may get the, um, the rest of the pallets and the, the big railroad ties. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to see how many there are. If there's four, I could build another garden bed. Oh my gosh. I, I'm just, I'm on top of the world. I am literally on top of the world. Anyhow, uh, so yeah, I'm just, this is going to be it. That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.